Hello and welcome to day 10 of the 21 day challenge. We are almost halfway uh, through our challenge, so congratulations for getting this far. Today's affirmation is, I empower myself by transforming situations. So what's that mean? It basically means that you get to choose again. So if something happens and you believe it's negative, you can reframe that situation so you can get to choose how you see that situation. And sometimes we're sad when something ends, but also when there's a new ending, when there's an old ending, there's a new beginning, should I say. So new beginnings can be transformative. We can do anything we choose and we can choose to see the good in a, bad, in a situation or the bad. But really, they're just situations. So it's up to us and we get to choose. So it's all about how you frame it. Anyway, speaking of which, we're up early, so we get the opportunity to do some exercise, put it into our day and make ourselves feel good. So let's start by having a bit of a warm up, okay? So we're gonna start with a little jug in place. That's it. There we go. So jog in place. Okay. You can march if you want to. do some jumping jacks okay if you don't want to do jumping jacks half jacks okay so we take the impact out do half jacks okay Punch and twist, punch and twist. That's it. Oh, we go. Low impact. Okay, I'll put a spring in. Up to you. Choose your level. And work within your own parameters. But get that body moving. Okay. We're going to get from punching across to spotty dogs now. Like that. Offer a raise. That bags. That's it. Okay. Good. And then we're gonna do some pendulum swings. the chest. Oh, okay, so we've got just a little over 20 minutes of uh, exercise this morning. I'm going to have a nice stretch at the end. Okay, so not quite as intense as we have been doing of late. So, see how this goes. Okay, then feet wide and we're going to do toe touches. That's the way. We've had a nice mixed bag of exercises today, a little bit of up and down off the floor. We've had a day where we've just been on our feet. Yeah, yesterday's was a little bit more heavier on the arms and the core. So we have a little bit of everything today. Okay, toes turned out. We're we'll gonna squat, wide squats. Awesome, keep the weight in your heels and the balls of your feet. Okay, I'm just gonna turn this way so you can see. Okay, depth of my squats around about knee height, keeping my tummy uh, tucked in, shoulders back. Okay. Lovely. From here, we're going to do side lunges. So hips right back still. Okay, good. Heel to heel. Okay. I love a mixed bag of exercises. 
always goes quick with a mixed bag. Okay, excellent. So, the importance of exercising every day, keep getting your heart rate up for 20 minutes a day, helps increase your cardiovascular fitness, but it's also um, about burning fat. So getting slightly out of breath means it gives you an ability to burn more fat, okay? So you breathe in oxygen, you breathe out carbon dioxide, okay? The carbon is, the carbon element is the byproduct of fat burning. So the more you breathe, the more fat you're getting rid of, okay? It has to go somewhere, it comes out. Our bodies really are truly magical. Okay, good, torso twist. So we can reframe this as, uh, oh my goodness, we can have, oh my goodness, I've got to work out, or we can have, oh my goodness, I get to work out. I get to look after my body, I get to feel good, and I get to burn some fat, improve my fitness, and turn up. Okay, arm circles. Round and round we go. Whew. And then back down the other way. Okay. Good stuff. Right. So you've got a chance to have a quick swig of your drink before we get started. We're going to start with squat jacks or squat step outs. Crisscross squats. Downward dog, tucks, bicycles, and press ups. Okay, so a little bit of everything. Okay, right, so we're gonna do um, squat jacks, uh, step outs, that's low impact version, high impact version. We're gonna jack those legs. Okay, so jump those legs out and in, in that half squat position. Cross squats now. Okay, so bring the knee across, bring the elbow across, twist the torso, bring the knee up. So we're working the abs. Dog tucks now, hands on the floor, hips back, and downward dog tucks. Good. Then we're going to flip over on our backs. And we're going to do bicycle crunch, okay? It's on your back, ankle temple, ankle temple. All right, not too fast. Nice and slow. Push the legs up nice and long. And we're going to turn over in a second. And we're going to do press ups. Turn over, press ups. Okay. Okay, tummy tucked in, elbows out. Chest comes down between our elbows. Good. Nice and strong in the body. If you want to make them easier, bring your knees in under your hips a bit more. Well done. I'm going to do squat jacks again or step out. So step outs like this, squat jacks like this. If you don't want to do the arms, keep them here. Or you can put them on your hips if you want to.
crisscross squats. Don't forget to breathe. Hold your breath. Downward dog tucks, hips back and tuck. Get ready for those bicycles. Okay, on, the, on your back, bicycles. Okay, nice, long legs. Then. Good. Hands wide. Okay. Elbows out. Push the floor away. Tummy tucked in. Keep that core nice and tight. Okay. Well done. Good. Good. 15 seconds rest. Okay, so next we have pop squats, sumo squats, reptile steps, squirms and renegade row. Okay, are we ready? So pop squats, low impact version. Okay, high impact. Feet together, then out we go. Hit the deck in between. Alternating hand. Ready? Sumo squats. Feet wide, toes turned out, squeeze. Hands down now, and we're going to do reptile steps. So, in a plank, stepping up to the side, like so. I'll return so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, next we're going to lay on our back on the mats. Don't worry if you can't get your foot right up, or if you can get it. Okay, then we're on the floor on the mat, legs bent. Okay, reaching round for your ankle bones, shoulders off the floor. Not forgetting to breathe, of course. Okay, we're going to turn over and do a plank renegade row. Okay, so beginners on your knees in a half plank position, otherwise upon your toes, we bring your elbow back. Okay, so if you're a beginner here, okay, if you're feeling strong, here. Okay, try and keep your hips as still as you can. Okay. Come, either low impact pop squats or high impact. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, sumo squats. Reptile steps after this. Okay, hands down and we step up, then back, then up and back. Okay, on your back. Right, squirm like a worm. Awesome. You're doing great. Then we're going to turn over and do plank renegade row, either on your knees or if you're feeling strong with your knees off the floor. And on your feet and your hands. Okay, good. So the knees and hands. Okay, our feet and hands. Okay, good. We're almost halfway through. Our workout now. Halfway through the workout. Halfway through the 21 day plan. <laughs> Keep going. and have a rest. Don't forget your drink, okay? Okay, so next we're going to do jump squats, okay? So we're going to squat and jump. If you don't want to jump, we're going to go one, two, three, up, one, two, three, up. Otherwise, jump. do crescent kick squats. We haven't done these yet before. Okay, so easy version, bent leg in a circle, harder version, straighter leg, round in a circle with a squat in between. Okay, if these are too hard and they're not good on your hips, um, just do a kick out to the front. Then we're going to do plank kicks yeah. on your hands and plank kick throughs. Okay, so turn and kick. Then we've got single leg feet ups. On your back now, arms over your head, legs out straight, like this. Now we'll bring leg up, arms up, one leg, both arms, shoulders off the floor each time. If they're hard, keep your leg bent. Okay, T planks next. Okay, so T planks, one hand off and turn, off and turn. So you can let your feet twist. You can do them on your knees, all right? That's a little bit easier. Okay. Good, up on your feet again, and we're either going to do three courses and a jump, or three courses, come up, or straight for the squat jumps. Okay. 
Okay, pleasant kick squats now. Squat and around, squat and around. Okay, kick, kick, kick. Whew. Awesome work, everybody. Keep it up. Single leg V ups next. Okay, on your back, arms over your head, legs out straight, one leg up, both arms up, alternating legs. And then we have tea clacks after this. Turn over in a plank. We take one hand off, turn onto the sides of our feet, and then the other one. seconds we have one more exercise left sorry one more exercise group left we're going to do wide and narrow squats or squat narrow and wide narrow wide okay so feet together and feet apart okay but always straight down in the middle not a side lunge It's a lunge free zone today. No lunging. Okay, squat, side kick, squat, side kick. Alternating sides. Okay. We do plank step outs next, which you can do on your elbows or on your hands. Okay, so I'm going to go on my elbows, I'm going to step one way, then out the other. Okay, if you want to do them on your hands, you can. Okay. Okay, then we're going to do Russian twist. Keep your bottom down on these. Don't let your bum go up. Okay, on your mat, on the floor, feet either on the floor, lean back and twist off the floors harder. Okay. Next one. Then it's two, I can show you. Easy one and hard one. Okay. Easy one. Coming up, tricep kicks. Okay, so we're holding the weight through our triceps, hands pointing inwards. Harder is opposite. Hand comes up to reach over for the opposite ankle. Okay. That's obviously much harder. Good, well done. Up we come on our feet. Wide and narrow squats. Narrow, wide, narrow, wide. Okay, 
side kick squats. Then plank step out. Try and bring the leg up and kick out from the waist. On your elbows and on your hands, hips down, and then step one way, then the other. Let's just turn so you can see what's going on. My bum's down, it's not higher than my shoulders. Okay, my core's pulled in nice and tight. And we're gonna do Russian twists shortly. Well done. Russian twist. Okay, feet on or off the floor. Arms easier, off harder. Keep your chest up nice and high. Core engage all the time. Okay, then we've got tricep dips, or tricep, so tricep kicks, or tricep reach overs. Okay, so. Either kicks, that's the easy version. Harder version, like this. Last one, last exercise. Amazing. Walk side to side, okay. Massaging that lower back. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, then feet flat down on the floor, and we're gonna get so you can put your hand under your back. So we're pressing our pelvis down, our pubic bone down toward the floor, and then we're gonna roll back onto our coccyx. So we're massaging that lower back. Just tilting the pelvis. Okay, hands out to the side, legs out straight. Okay, then we're gonna lift one leg up and bring it over, bend the knee, hands on your, on your knee, and your shoulder on this opposite side is on the floor, hopefully. So we're getting a stretch across the chest, around the waist, and down the sides of the glutes. Okay, come back to the center. Other side now, that way. Shoulder on the floor, opposite hand on the opposite knee. Okay, so we're getting a nice stretch down the outer thigh, around the waist, into the chest area. Okay, come back to the center. We're gonna do a uh, turn over actually onto your front. We're gonna do a quad stretch. Okay, so looking down and then lifting your knee up off the floor, heel to bum. I'm really got a dab on now. Okay, and then the other one, knee up off the floor. It's made me very warm. I feel good for the legs. Okay, let that go. Hands under your shoulders now. We're going to sit back on our heels into a child's pose, shoulders down to the floor, and breathe. Okay, good. Right, then we're gonna come up onto our knee, hands and knees, and we're gonna dig our toes in, extend our legs, heels down to the floor, into a downward dog. Okay, good. Then take your feet wide, and we'll bring them Hands in between the legs, and we'll just move forward so you can see me better. Hold that there, so we're going to stretch down our hamstrings. Go to one side, then back over to the other. Back to the centre, work those feet in together. Tailbone up to the ceiling, hands to your hips, come up halfway. Hold that so we're getting a nice stretch around the glutes. Then come all the way right, okay. Round your back, look down to the floor. 
behind, hold, lift the head up, pull your arms back, hold. then we'll lean up to one side for a stretch on the waist, then the other, back to the centre, out to the sides, give yourself a clap, that was amazing, oh, 200. And 33 calories. God, I've got my double. Anyway, fantastic effort, everybody. Don't forget, see the opportunity in the challenges. It's not always a problem. It's just a change of direction. It's just how you reframe it. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you for day 11 tomorrow. Bye.